Let's have a little chat, shall we, guys? Out in the great outdoors here in Sydney, Australia. All right, what's up, guys? Isaac checking in. And in today's video, I want to talk about excuses. Um, well, to be more specific, rationalizations and how there really is no room for them if you want to be successful, right? If you really want to achieve the goals you want to achieve. Like for me, lately I've been giving myself a lot of rationalizations and I had to come honest with myself and think about it deeply and think about if I was headed in the right direction to accomplish the things I wanted to accomplish by the certain age I wanted to accomplish those things by, right? And I realized that I wasn't because of rationalizations. And the thing about rationalizations is they're basically excuses, but they're more insidious than excuses because they seem like a decent excuse, right? It's not like a just a cop-out. It's a decent excuse. It makes sense to the brain. And um, that's what makes them so dangerous because once you start falling into these rationalizations, it's going to be easier and easier to give in to them and you're going to always, always give in to them and never, ever accomplish anything. Because the biggest difference between people that accomplish mediocre results and people that accomplish really extraordinary things is people that accomplish really extraordinary things don't give themselves room for rationalizations. You need every little inch of progression, you need every little inch of moving forward so rationalizations cannot be a factor in your life. And what made me realize about this is recently, um, as a lot of you guys know, I'm studying mechanical engineering, right? And we're having our final exams right now. It's a pretty hectic time of the year where you have to study and you know, a lot of pressure. I'm in my second last year, so it's a lot of pressure, right? And as a result of that, I've been giving myself more rationalizations. I've been slacking out at Bill and Jim. I've been going like once a week, you know, maybe twice a week, which is the lowest amount of time I've hit the gym in the past five years. Like I've always been really consistent. I've um, not uploaded as frequently on the YouTube channel because I've been thinking to myself, I need to put more time into my uni work. But here's the thing. Just because you're busy doing other things, just because it seems like a decent excuse doesn't mean that it is. You need to really evaluate and think if your rationalizations are actually legitimate. So in my case, I was saying I had to focus on uni work and that's why I couldn't go to the gym as often as I wanted to. That's why I couldn't upload as frequently as I wanted to. But in reality, was I studying the whole 24 hours of the day, right? Was I making every single hour, um, was that going towards uni or did I study a bit of time and f fuck around the rest of the time? You always ask yourself these things. Even people that like have a nine to five job, which is a lot of us. We have these jobs and we get home, we're tired and we're like, okay, I can't go to gym today, I'm tired. I'm tired, uh, like, you know, like, there's no point. But you need to ask yourself, is this the truth? Can you not go for three minutes? Can you not go for four minutes? Can you, do, can you not do some push-ups at home? Are you the first motherfucker to have a job and have to go gym? No other people have done it, then you can too. You need to really question your rationalizations. Don't just give in to them. The easy way is to just give in to them and to accept them for what they are and be like, okay, this rationalization makes sense, let's go with it. If you really want to accept, you really want to take yourself to the next level, you need to always question them, always think about the integrity of them. Are these rationalizations true or are they um, resistance, trying to stop you from doing, achieving great things? And what I like to think of is, um, you know how people form egoic connections with certain ideologies, like perhaps your ego is attached with this concept of being a Christian or being a teacher or being, you know, a bodybuilder. Your ego has these attachments. What you want to do is form the attachment of being a person that does not give in to rationalization. Being a person that's got that killer instinct who just goes for it, who says they're going to do something and regardless of what pops up, they do that thing. And that's how you're going to make the greatest progress in your life once you make that attachment and it becomes automatic. Anyway guys, um, this is a video for today. I didn't really want to come out today, but I really had to because, you know, fuck rationalizations. Um, get it, just get it, get it, get it, get it. And I'm starting the video a day series again, real soon, probably in the next three days or so. So if you guys have any suggestions for videos, put them down below and I'll make a video on that topic and it'll be great. And yeah, fuck rationalizations. We don't need them especially for what we're trying to get to. Anyway, guys, peace. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, would you mind clicking the post notifications if you do subscribe? Because if you don't, you won't see the videos in your newsfeed, which is pointless, but YouTube does. YouTube's going to YouTube, all right? And yeah, peace.